Thank you, Prime Minister. May I come in, sir? Aye. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon to you, Nirdesh. Thank you, sir. Nirdesh. A very strong name you have. Yes, sir. Huh? What does Nirdesh mean? Sir, uh, Nirdesh means instructions. Mm -hmm. uh, instructions when whatever we are given in organization or in some team, teamwork or any group activity. What are the synonyms for instruction? Nirdesh, uh, one is there and instruction, directives we can give, call mm -hmm. directions. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say, sir, uh, DPSP is derived from the instructions only, Nir they are Nirdesh for the constitution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these are the one, few that I am able to recall. Okay, Nirdesh Gangwar, uh, please uh, introduce yourself. Sure. First question, why are you late? Sir. Uh, I was having some other occupations. Uh, I was involved in some other institute. Another mock. Yes. Another mock. So, yes, sir. So I was late for that. So, uh, so I am from Bahedi. Uh, my initial education was done in Bahedi only. I completed my tenth and twelfth from <coughs> Delhi Court. And sir, after that, uh, I went to IIT BHU Varanasi. I completed my B.Tech in Mining Engineering from there. Mm. I took two year break after that and uh, I prepared for civil services and sir, since for uh, since last two years, I am working in corporate sector, 1.5 years. Sir, I am working in data the, analytics. Data. Uh, currently, I am product manager at Easy Diner Private Limited Company. What is the role of the data analyst? Sir, uh, data ana analyst basically does that the decision making of the company, whatever decisions have been taken are up to the uh, are based or backed by the data it are they are not in general nature but some kind of analytical and data reasoning is behind that sir if you allow me i can give example of it mm -hmm. sir suppose if there is some company or uh, let's say if there is administration uh, in our case so if we have to roll out a vaccination plan for our district uh, so the one way is that we can start rolling vaccination plan but it can be a better way to just analyze the data that which particular area there has been more susceptibility as it was required in COVID-19 and then we can roll out our vaccination plan. So this is what I do for a company. Are you replaceable by AI? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Are you replaceable by artificial intelligence? No, sir. Uh, I don't think that I'm replaceable by AI. Uh, AI can uh, basically work as a bicycle of data analytics brain, hmm. but uh, more than that, they cannot replace uh, data analytics. Uh, few jobs loss will be there, hmm. but the role will be then also. Can the there. chat GPD do the same work? Sir, it can do, but it is very at very initial stage as of now and it cannot find the solutions. It cannot draw the insights that will suit the business requirement of my company mm -hmm. for that. It can definitely ease out my work and few job loss can be there, but ultimately it cannot uh, replace completely. Give us a brief of your industry, in the industry in which you are working. Yes. Not your particular company, I mean the industry yes. overall. <coughs> Sir, the industry that I am currently working is uh, basically promoting the people to go out and eat. And uh, during uh, the e any eat out that they are going, they can save the money. So uh, the industry is growing, <coughs> still in a growing stage because eat out has not been earlier the trend of the I society. I didn't mean the data industry, I meant the general IT industry in general. Okay, uh, I am sorry sir. Sir, uh, IT industry uh, basically began, uh, ha is now on the increasing trend in con in a country like ours, if we see mm -hmm. that new jobs are getting created, more and more analytics and IT based solutions are being found in more and more businesses that are cropping up. So it is on a growing stage as of now. What is a global capability center? Sir, uh, I have to look about it. I'm sorry, sir. I don't. Which sec, which sectors, which segments of your industry are getting more recruits? Sir, a uh, software developer uh, section that that part is getting more recruits and an analytics field as well. And what is the generally annual intake in these organizations? Sir, annual intake. Uh, if I see around per organization, if we are talking about, or if we are talking about per sector overall per sector in my food business industry if I talk about. Mm -hmm. So sir, around 1500 uh, freshers they are hiring mm -hmm. annually, they are hiring. How mm -hmm. many engineers are employed in the IT sector? Sir, uh, I can draw this comparison based on the placements from my college. 
So, sir, uh, I see that 70% of the engineers, irrespective of the branches or the disciplines they were, they are employed in IT sector. And what is the total revenue of the IT industry in India? Uh, exact numbers, I have to look into it, sir. What is total revenue? Any, any, sorry, any idea? <coughs> what is India's total uh, service sector exports? Sir, I have to look into the numbers. I am sorry, sir. Okay. You uh, studied in Baranasi. Yes. Right? <coughs> the, there is a controversy going around regarding the Gyan Bapi Masjid. Yes. What is your take on it? Sir, I think that uh, whatever the thing that is decided in Varanasi should be out of consensus based and the rule based at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, sir, uh, there has been uh, the rule by High Court has given, now they, they have allowed it. So, it must be followed and the consensus can be built regarding the same by <coughs> engaging with the parties. Sir. Mm -hmm. So, and sir, uh, the law is also there that the nature, religious nature of the place of worship will not be changed. So, it was, uh, if High Court has considered that thing and it has passed some wording. You think any effort is being made in that direction? Sir, uh, I have seen that uh, the administration is talking about, talking with the concerned parties and the consensus is being derived at, so that uh, awareness among the uh, people have, is being increased, so that the, it does not lead to any harmful impact on the Are society. you hopeful of any positive result? Yes, sir. I am always hopeful of a positive result because we as a society have to evolve and we have. We have dealt various other issues by consensus and uh, the dialogues that we have re uh, we have reached a you particular Are you forgetting Babri Masjid? <coughs> yes, sir. Uh, that was very unfortunate that happened. But, sir, uh, <coughs> at the same time, uh, we have to promote awareness and the uh, among the people so that that incident doesn't happen again. Okay, you are fond of public speaking? Yes, sir. What are the major requirements of a public speaker? Main requirements? Sir, the very first requirement according to me is that one has to be very thorough about the topic that he is speaking in. Mm -hmm. Why? Yes, sir. Second one is that he must understand the audience so that he can go up to the level of audience. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, what is the literacy rate of uh, boys and girls in, or men and women in UP? Sir, uh, overall literacy rate of UP is 67 percent. Male literacy rate is 77 percent. Female is 57 percent. Why is it so? Why is the female literacy so low? <coughs> and wh what are the not national figures for literacy? Sir, uh, national figures are 87% uh, literacy rate is there uh, uh, in total and 77% uh, for female, again 10% difference is there for female and male, 10% uh, more. So, uh, UP is lagging behind by yes. a very large margin, why is it so? Sir, few reasons that I am able to think of is the uh, societal as nature of the UP that we uh, UP has been a feudal economy based on agriculture for a long time. Mm -hmm. So that due to which what has happened is there is a entrenched patriarchy in the society, which has led to this uh, disparity in the literacy rates of males and female in the in the uh, state. Sorry, so that is one of the reasons, sir. And uh, there has been also. A reason that enough social sector, for example, school education is still lagging in UP rural hinterlands. That is where the literacy rate uh, is low in UP at, at this point of time. And what about uh, entrances to the first year of college? You know, in the case of the nation taken as a whole, more than 50% of the enrollment is of women. Yes. What about UP? Would you have the figures? I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't okay. have the figures. Okay. What would you, uh, as a district magistrate, what would you do to improve the female literacy rate in your district? Sir, uh, I will work on few aspects as a district magistrate. The very first thing will be the infrastructure development of the schools. 
Sir, there have been the cases that female toilets are not there in schools, so that impacts uh, the uh, literacy rate of women uh, or girls in particular. <coughs> and sir, at the same time, uh, after developing a proper infrastructure and uh, seeing that whether it is working properly, I will also work on the societal awareness and the social awareness. How how will you do that? Yes, sir. <coughs> sir, for that, uh, I will uh, I will follow the method of persuasion by out doing the outreaches to the societies, to the village societies. You mean you will hold meetings? Yes. Meetings uh, in which the audience will be who? Uh, mm -hmm. Males? Sir, uh, I would, uh, sir, for this what I will, uh, what I will do is that the authoritative figures of the village, for example, Gram Panchayats, first mm -hmm. convincing them is necessary <coughs> if the girls of their village are going to schools if they want then they on, then only mm -hmm. they, this can happen this can be done sir by said, showing the examples of good female that that have achieved a lot uh, by setting the example by taking her as well with uh, to the to those areas and then convincing them this can bring the attitudinal change in the people okay of are there any films which have been made you know for instance <coughs> manthan was made many many decades ago mm. about the milk, uh, the white revolution in Gujarat, and yes. it was shown in uh, you know villages where the milk cooperatives were sought to be mm. established. Is there something similar which has been done for the cause of female literacy and greater enrollment? Sir, uh, film as such, I am not aware as of okay. now recently All any right. film has come. Uh, one last question. Uh, you know, there is uh, this uh, theory which is uh, put forward that midday meal scheme has led to greater female enrollment in many states. Yes. Do you subscribe to this notion? Yes, sir. Uh, logically, I believe in this uh, notion that it can uh, help in addressing the female literacy rate can improve so the reason mainly being that if the uh, there is there is a major concern of keeping <coughs> girls at home to prepare well, that's food. all right but mm -hmm. then once the midday meal scheme uh, benefit is no longer uh, given to a girl suppose she goes to the sixth seventh class will she drop out isn't it the possibility quite high Yes, sir. Definitely, it is a possibility that uh, once the and sir, it happens if we see because uh, we have seen in board examination, girls are performing fairly well, but at, when it comes to the college level, then their uh, participation declines. Uh, if we compare what their participation was until, so the main reason is this only that their household course, household works take response uh, taking responsibility by female get increased. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Mr. Nidesh. Uh, very briefly, please explain to us India's <coughs> policy towards the Indo-Pacific. Sir, uh, India has now uh, actively been engaging in the Indo-Pacific uh, currently. The, pos the policy of India has been uh, as uh, as always strategic autonomy that India for India neither takes sides of it so uh, India has joined the part uh, has joined the quad at the same time but at the same time India is also a part of SCO so it is where it is balancing the interest uh, the neutral instance of all right yeah. so now tell me why is India taking so much interest in this indo pacific we are basically Indian Ocean power yes we are based in the Indian Ocean. Why is India taking so much interest in the Indo-Pacific? What are the reasons? Sir, uh, the very first reason is uh, that uh, the China angle of it, that the expand, the assertive nature of China in Indo-Pacific uh, is one of the reason. And sir, uh, what the is the China angle? Sir, for example, Chinese claim maximum part of uh, South China Sea as their own part. So, this is what it will be happening in the current times. And sir... Okay, that's South China Sea. South China Sea. They are not claiming anything in Indian Ocean. Yes, sir. Not, not our claiming, territory. Not claiming Why should we, we be concerned? They are claiming something in their own area. But sir, uh, it is setting a bad precedent if we see. 
if if any country fall, not following the international laws and if uh, it becomes a trend then it can in future impact us as well in our our domestic okay. countries in indian ocean now, can also be what are the other interest you said china what yes. else sir other interests are the economical interest uh, that ma marine resources in this region that is one of the, uh, the we are talking about blue economy uh, so that is one of the thing that we are ex we are uh, remove, we are looking for the possibilities of the marine products and uh, mineral resources in it and sir uh, the trade uh, because uh, for a long time the trade with west has been uh, it, it takes place from this region only and it has so there is some there, depending on single route for the trade can be a, a potentially a negative for us so there can the marine trade can be increased from that direction as well with free open and towards open the end. west you mean towards the west sir. so for us west asia we don't need to go to in the indo pacific area why should we worry about south china sea sorry sir west in the sense i was meaning uh, south america because we are engaging with the south america as well and we our why do we need to go to that area south america side sir we uh, that is the least explored part as from india's angle if we see and now the possibilities are rising up in south america as well all right so you tell me <coughs> brics founded in 2009 has it achieved anything? Yes, sir. Uh, I think that BRICS has achieved uh, various things because uh, now the developing economies, the countries of the the members of the BRICS, they are now growing in. A, they are now growing as such uh, that their voices on world scale are getting reflected. Let's say the example of India, Brazil. So this has been happened. And sir, uh, there was this attitude in the world globally that everything global centric is what it is the west centric this attitude has now changed owing to the achievements of the BRICS okay. and sir uh, this is a forum where China and India are the part uh, are the together are together the part of the forum mm -hmm. so this also opens up the opportunities of uh, always having this dialogue okay. recently this. some countries mm -hmm. applied to join and they were even admitted can you tell us some of the countries which are now the new members of BRIC? Yes, sir. Uh, I heard that news, but sir, exactly the name of countries I am not able okay. to recall. Okay, tell me what was the main aim for establishing BRICS? What was the key aim? Sir, uh, as far as I know that uh, earlier there used to be G7 forum. So G7 is it, it, the interest of our countries, the developing countries or global south were not represented in that. So to, to have this Asia centric development and the development of developing countries, these, uh, this body was formed. And sir, as our foreign minister has said that uh, this was BRICS, owing to BRICS that the expansion of G7 was thought that uh, now we have to include them because this uh, this block in itself is, have, is having something at the world scale to offer. Okay, last question. Why is BRICS important for India? Give me one or two reasons. Sir, uh, <coughs> the very first reason is that uh, it, it, uh, it comprises of the global south countries except for Russia we see. Okay. So that is one reason. And sir, uh, we have good relation with Russia. And sir, in the times of crisis, BRICS can play an important role. Because our challenge, our uh, relation with China is some somewhat not uh, better, uh, and it has deep, it has become even worse after Gulf One. So, is that an asset or a liability? So, uh, BRICS. Yeah, our <laughs> relation with China huh. is that an asset or a liability? Sir, I think that uh, whatever a neighbor is, so we have to accept uh, it uh, on their uh, face of it, and then we have to manage. Right. So, thank you. Thank, thank you so you much. Very much. Yeah, this tell me what social changes have taken place in UP since independence sociology yes sir uh, the very first change is the change in economic activity uh, at the time of so, 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 social changes I'm asking yes sir, sir. not economic so, sorry sir uh, so sir uh, in change in the family has happened so now uh, the this boom in IT sector, there has been the migration of the chi child from UP to the these service based cities and now nuclear family has arisen and sir uh, the change in marriage has have happened now. 
sir so, uh, now uh, i have seen from my exam uh, from my uh, area local area example that people are now more open to the uh, love marriages as compared to arranged marriages which, arranged marriages which earlier used to be the case sir uh, education uh, participation of women in education has now been increasing with the efforts of the government so these are the changes that i have seen in the institution in the caste yes sir in caste inter caste marriages are now being happening it is a it has started but not uh, not reached to the zenith but sir unfortunately uh, the there is some issue in terms of politics though it has changed a lot now the politics has moved away from the caste in most of the cases but still there are some cases that we find these communal cases. harmony yes sir so communal communal harmony sir we, i have seen by the data that now the communal clashes in up are getting reduced and this is what happened earlier the communal classes were more now they are the intensity of it is getting reduced now any other change education and health also are social sectors yes sir so education uh, i mentioned that the women female labor force particip female participation in education is improving and sir uh, education overall is getting improved in up and health services is yes, it health also in uh, the hospitals have been made up new hospitals have been made up and the uh, the health services have been made accessible to the common people in the up by any can you give some figure of the doctors per 1000 patients increase or decrease or what i'm sorry sir the data part i have to look into it okay tell me what is your opinion on division of up into three or four parts sir i think that uh, three or four i'm not sure the number of it but i think that up must be divided uh, at least in two parts as of now because there has been a administrative uh, a hustle to take to control whole of the part which of which two parts which are those two parts sir i would suggest the uh, dividing up in uh, west up and eastern up part mm -hmm. that can be uh, that according to me can be a good option to do that but the south side there is another part which is very different yes sir it is different but if we divide it into four parts then that part uh, then the problem of funds will be there in that part so mm -hmm. it can always be there we can divide it into two and we can develop those least developed parts in the south that are there by the revenue proceeds of the part uh, other uh, other revenue proceeds of the same state funds mostly come from the central so yes sir funds come from center also but yes sir at the same time state also uh, perform the infrastructure okay. development chief election commissioner and election commissioner act has been passed yes sir presently who are the selection committee members sir uh, prime minister hmm. uh, any minister nominated by prime minister and leader of opposition and in your opinion whether it is a fair arrangement sir i think that uh, it would have been better if we if uh, cgi would have been included into the committee member so it is not fair yes sir uh, uh, in at at present it seems that it is not fair but mostly it will work on the functioning aspect of it because sir uh, if you allow me i can uh, explain this part sir because sir the let's say take the example of cbi so cbi there has been the questioning on cbi is working but the committee members are cbi is not a constitutional institution yes sir but the appointment of the director of cbi is done by uh, chief justice of india yeah, it is done but it is not as crucial as the yes, election sir. commission yes sir so uh, therefore sir uh, at the same time the implementation of it that whether it is working okay, in a fair okay. way should be considered last question is biodiversity hotspots how many are there in <coughs> india and what is the criteria sir four biodiversity hotspots are there in india which are sir uh, western ghats himalaya mm -hmm. north east and sir andaman and nicobar what is north east no? sir uh, north east uh, not whole of the north east uh, part is the one of the biodiversity hotspot okay okay thank you thank you so much